This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We've got Arnie representing the team, Mr. Mini Fez over here. If you haven't, check out his YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description, of course, so you can go check that out. High, high tier content, obviously. Loads of clickbait. <laughs> Soy boy face is all over the thumbnails. He's even does a mumble rap career as well, oh. so you should go find that as well. Oh yeah, top tier stuff. Top tier. So I decided to get him on the uh, channel today because he's playing something actually quite interesting, which he's pretty sure is going to be the next best deck. The next best deck. Obviously, we don't have everything for it yet, so we'll go through all of that. But the deck is Adventure Sun Avalon. Adventure Sun Avalon, the seed dot deck. The seed. Deck. So we actually played earlier as well. We had a pretty funny game actually that was my draw uh which i got rewarded for putting pink cards in going second somehow turns out tikabu kind of funny um but yeah we had, we had a really cool game and then they went on to top today unfortunately losing out in top eight or top yeah, yeah top, eight. top eight lost in top eight so yeah considering the deck is not fully built not fully there yet and we yeah. don't have everything it's pretty good so before we do get stuck into this speaking of jam jam cards uk there is a link in the description if you use that along with the code rufio15 you'll get a nice 15 percent discount on your ebay order so take us away when you're ready all right let's get into the main deck so we played free Genius Loki. Need this to start off your combo. That's why we also play free and unexpected die to special it from deck. We played two painful decision to search it and a one for one. So we have nine ways into Genius Loki. Yep. In forty cards, which is decent. Yep. It's not as good as it will be after Dipo because we get the new punk which means it's an extra way to get into Genius Loki. Yep. So it becomes a lot more consistent. I also have two Sewing, which can get into the Genius Loki. Mm -hmm. But the problem is if you start with Sewing, it's a once per turn. So if you search it off the link one, then you can't activate a second copy. So yep. your combo is a lot worse. You need to have extenders already in hand. And then we have the two Sunsea Twins. This is what we usually summon off the sewing. Uh, when this is special, while you control the Sun Avalon link, uh, it can special back a uh, Genius Loki from yeah. Grave. And then, since you take a thousand from the sewing, you can also chain block this with Drias. Because when you take effect or battle damage, you can trigger Drias to special. Uh, Sun, Sun Vine Link Monster from your extra deck, yeah. and then you gain that damage back. So you get four bodies straight away just from that one card. Yeah. And then we got the adventure stuff, which is pretty standard. Free Enchantress plus Foolish for another Enchantress. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can also like send a low key with a Foolish Burial and then reborn it with Twin. Yeah. Sometimes you need to do that to get combo. And uh, we got Free Right, Fateful Adventure, Draco Back, and uh, Griffin. Yep. Standard. Then the three plant monsters that are not Sun Avalon cards are Cactus Bouncer, <laughs> Mardell, yep. and Snowdrop. Yep. So Cactus Mount Bouncer, if you start with Unexpected Die, you can special this and then use this for your normal. Uh, what this does is, if you control a plant monster, uh, neither player can special summon. And if you, if you end sub to op, sub optimally, and your only monsters like Drias, they can't even attack Drias because it has an effect where it can't be targeted for attacks. Yeah. So this can't be altered like that. Uh, you can also equip it with Draco back, so it can't be shrugged at all. Yeah. And uh, if you got more life points, which you gain a lot of life through the normal combo, uh, and you got Jasmine point into this, it also can't be a struggle battle. Yeah. And then this is a garnet, but it searches any of your plants. Yeah. Which is this is usually the best target. So what this does is you contribute a plant you control, 
and then special itself and another plant in hand. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it also has an effect where you can copy the level of something on the field. Mm -hmm. So basically you can make what you special a level eight and then you summon the Rick XYZ yep. the extra deck. So that's that. Then we've got hand traps, which are free ash. Yep. Free bell. This was mainly for branded, but I didn't end up playing branded. Yep. So two Veiler, two Imperm and free cross out to protect from those hand traps. Yep. And call by to protect from hand traps in general. Uh, I notice there's no ogres there as well. It's been pretty common in the format at the moment. Is there any reason you've opted not to go for that? Uh, ogre really, it's okay, but it only hits adventure stuff. Yeah. And like with branded popping up everywhere, ogre does nothing to that deck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just didn't think it was worth playing today. Just, okay. Just to stop like. Uh, in the gate, which Ash and Bell can do as well, yeah. to stop the Enchantress. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Didn't seem worth it. Um, moving on to the extra deck. Sure. We got three Drias. If I could play four Drias, I would. Um, just don't get caught. <laughs> just don't get caught. This card is cracked. Uh, if you summon it with the vanilla, it searches a. Uh, a Sunvine spell. Yep. So you search the Sewing, which specials uh, Sunseed from deck. And then when you you can't target it for attacks, and if you take battle or effect damage, you can special a Sunvine Link Monster from your extra deck. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. And then two Healer, which is a Sunvine, a target for Dryas. Yep. You also use this. Uh, during the combo to heal yourself to trigger Jasmine to search a plant because when you gain life points, uh, you can search for a plant monster. It's not a soft once per turn. So. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And uh, other Sunvine monster is Thrasher. Uh, what this does is it basically just gets big. And just gets big. It's, That's it. It's pretty much what it does. And if it beats over something, you can special it to your field. So. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. Kind of like niche, but could come up. Yeah. Here we got two Jasmine, one of the most broken Link 2s ever. Uh, if your life points are higher itself and cards it points to can't be destroyed by battle, uh, you can tribute any monster it points to. So if you like Brick on Adventure, you can tribute the Adventure token to special a plant from deck. That's pretty good. And then uh, when you gain life, you can uh, add a plant. And uh, adding is not soft once. Is a soft once per turn. So oh, okay. You can abuse that. And then we got two Melius. So this summons Loki back. So you just link up into this, and then special back Loki. It's just Groot. Yeah, it's just Groot. And then when you summon Loki back with this, you can, uh, if you summon it under Jasmine, you can make a healer and heal yourself, and then search a plant. Heal yourself. And then. From the link three, you link up into Bengalancer. So what this does, it's basically a compulse. Uh, during the main phase, as a quick effect, you can target an effect monster, take damage equal to its attack, and bounce some bit, bounce it. Yep. And also, if it gets outed, you can special it back from grave by banishing link monsters whose link rating is equal four. So yeah, it basically. Good boss monster. It's pretty good. Good boss. Monster. And then add space. I yeah. just put an access code. <laughs> Never yeah. summoned it, but you know. Uh, teardrop. This is what you summon off the snowdrop. Yeah. What this does is, while as a plant, as uh, X Y Z material, it's a quick effect to tribute a monster. If it doesn't have a plant as material, it is just a ignition effect, yeah. basically. So after we get the uh, theory and stuff, this gets easier to make and better to make. Yeah. Uh, you can. It also turns up where you can just use theory and stuff to make it, which doesn't make a quick effect. But Lily is a plant, so you can end up and Zeus. Zeus. Never some of that, but Zeus. <laughs> now the side deck. Yep. 
So I played two plant monsters inside. One was a Rose Whip and one was Bamboo Shoot. Okay, so for people who haven't played this game forever, <laughs> what do these do? Basically, uh, Rose Whip has an effect where your opponent can only activate one spell or trap per turn. Yep. And Bamboo Shoot is a tribute monster, and if you tribute it using Anchoria, which is Rose Whip, uh, your opponent can't activate spell or traps. Yeah. So you summon this off Jasmine uh, if you start with unexpected die, and then tribute summon this, and your opponent can activate spell or traps, so you can't out your board with stuff like Droplet or Dark Ruler. Which I guess is the biggest threat to you, right? Yeah. And like adventure stuff can't be used, FD, you know, good cards. Yeah. Uh, and then we got. Free token collector uh, for brave sword soul prank kids. Yeah, good card. Uh, did end up siding in because my matchups didn't give me any of those decks. Mm -hmm. uh, free droplet, good going second cards. Yep, I usually side out cross outs into these. Uh, free L Storms. Uh, hits Thunderboards, hits Back Row, hits Dino, which I face today. And yeah, it's a good card. And a Duster, just out Back Row. Mm -hmm. And Evenly is the last card. Evenly is pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so before we leave, can you quickly explain what it is that the new stuff that's going to do is? Like, what's missing? Um, okay. What does it give you? So, the missing stuff comes out in Daifo. Yep. And it consists of Firion Lily. Yep. Firion's Regulus. Firion's Field Spell. And a new Punk Monster. Yep. So, what Lily does is it's a plant and it searches for the Field Spell. And the Field Spell searches for a Firion Monster. So you can search for the uh, Regulus, and then Regulus is an Omni Negate. Yeah. And Lily's just insane because it can just special itself from hand by equipping and planning Grave. Yeah. So it's like always live, and um, the Field Spell also recycles your Fury and stuff when you use them. Yeah. Basically, so it's just cracked. Yeah. And what the Punk does is it turns one E Telly into Baron plus Genius Loki. Okay. Because uh, you go Spider, add uh, Foxy Tune. Yeah. And Foxy Tune into the level five, which is a new one we're getting. Mm -hmm. And then both those into Hulk. Yeah. Then you can summon back the Foxy Tune with the uh, new one, DNO. And then uh, Hulk summons Necrosynchron from deck. Yeah. Then you can use both to make Baron. And trigger Necrosynchron to summon uh, the Genius Loki. So you've got your Negate on board. Yeah. yeah. And then you use Baron to pop the Hulk to clear your EMZ because the Link 1 effect can only be activated whilst in EMZ. So, oh. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. And you're convinced next best deck. Next best deck. Next maybe. best deck. Well, I mean, go. the fact that you've not played Prank Kids in favour of playing this today says a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, anything you would change about the deck, or is it just a case of waiting for those cards? Uh, I mean, probably cutting access code, because I've never made that. <laughs> uh, probably Zeus. But yeah, I mean, I'm just waiting for the new cards. So. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Any shout outs before we go? Uh, shout out Jam Jam. Yep. Shout out Red Lotus. Shout out the Coliseum. Yep. Um, yeah. That's it. Doesn't even want to shout himself out. Ah, oh, shout out Mini Fest. He's the Mini best Fest. YouTuber. Yeah. Out there. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, guys, I'll put a link down in the description if you want to go check out Artin's content. He does some really cool stuff on there. Uh, and he's one of these people that when he plays the deck, he's pretty dedicated. So if you hone in on a deck that he wants to play, you're going to get a ton and ton of content about it. So lots to see on there. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile with me. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you're watching and you haven't already, you should most definitely hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.